Hey there, Dr. Cooper, founder of Moment Institute and creator of Physio Secrets. And today we're going to talk about the foot. Today, what we're going to cover first is the three rockers of the foot. Now, if you don't understand the three rockers of the foot, it's hard to understand how the foot starts to become dysfunctional. So the first rocker that occurs when the foot strikes the floor is the heel rocker. So that occurs as the foot starts to come down. It doesn't actually come down like this, of course. It comes down at a forward trajectory with the toes up. Now the anterior tibialis muscle is on, preparing the foot for the landing phase. And as the heel strikes the floor, the anterior tibialis, tibialis muscle stays on and decelerates the forefoot coming down to the ground like this. The second rocker that occurs, and this is probably the one where people get into most trouble, is the ankle rocker. The ankle rocker occurs when the foot stays flat on the floor and the tibia continues to move over a fixed foot. The third thing that occurs is as the calf muscle starts to produce tension to lift up on the calcaneus, we pivot off of the forefoot and this is referred to as the forefoot rocker. So we have three rockers of the foot. Heel rocker brings you down to uh, forefoot contact. The foot is flat, ankle rocker, the tibia comes over the uh, talus, and then finally the forefoot rocker, the heel comes off the floor and we continue to propel. Now, where we start to get into trouble is with the ankle rocker. And so this is the number one factor that contributes to a pes planus or a flat foot. What occurs is as the foot is flat on the floor and the tibia is trying to come forward over that flat foot, if the calf muscle is stiff and tight, the tibia gets blocked and cannot continue to go forward. Now we have to continue the forward momentum because the body mass is traveling forward over the fixed foot. So instead of having the ankle rocker continue this way, this guy gets stopped by the tightness in the calf. Once that occurs, in order to continue the forward momentum, this complex pushes the talus, which is the bone that sits right underneath it, down and forward. And you'll see that as I bring the talus down and forward, the shin bone can continue to propel this way. And look what happens to the arch. All of a sudden, the medial longitudinal arch has to flatten down in order to continue the forward momentum. So in order to restore the arch, we have to restore what's referred to as the ankle rocker. 